Okay, next day we're back at it. Got a little dark. And we're playing with the hub again. See our shiny surface, lots of disgusting wear, it wasn't good. The seal rides in here. And I can feel with my finger there's a slight lip because I tried to sit the seal in yesterday to see how it would fit. Whether we had to get a new wear ring, which I have no clue how that works. Because I don't see anything that's very easily removable right here. But according to the dealer, it's supposed to be wearing. So, we have our handy dandy Dremel. And I've taken most of this side down, I think, but there's still a lot of lip on this side. And I wish you guys could see that. I can feel it, and hopefully you can see it. It's just enough to catch the seal when you try to put it together. So hopefully you can make this smooth and it slides together nicely. Okay, I think that's got it. I got a rag stuffed in there to hopefully catch a few shavings down low. We'll come over to our box of parts, find our seal. We got the other side done last night, like a gander at that. Got the wheel back on it. Now this seal is so tight that the, uh, well, not when the wheel's on, but when you're turning just the hub by hand, it feels rather tight. It's supposed to rain soon. We do need the rain. I was hoping to get this done before it rained. Uh, but we'll see. Our forecast only gives us uh, <laughs> all week after today with no rain. It's definitely going to seal well. It doesn't just slide in there. But I don't feel that lip anymore. You can see where the old seal was. Wore a little bit of a groove in there. I, I think it should go together nice enough. If not, we'll get to do this again extremely too soon. Good news is Brad packed the bearings for me yesterday. That'll go fast. So I gotta do a slide everything together. Oh. Come on, shavings fall out. And then while it rains, I'll search tractor house, Craigslist, for any sort of replacement options. One thing I've never seen is a Hydro 84 with front wheel assist. I've seen some, a few 784s, a couple like uh, 685s. And I don't know, maybe having the front wheel assist would be a lot of pull for the, for the hydrostat to take on. Trying to get all my metal shavings out. Yeah, we had the workbench clean, and then after a summer of fixing stuff, this isn't all my mess. I'm usually pretty good about putting things away. Just keeping everybody else on that same page. So this winter, if we have to have a big combine fix, we need a lot of workbench space. We'll take some time. Put all this stuff back away, but it's a lot of little odds and ends. Not too many tools, just a rag, pair of pliers, a hammer, Dremel toolbox, hydraulic pump that doesn't fit anything we've got. That's for a 10 series Ford, like a 6610. So if anybody needs a hydraulic pump, we got one. Just uh, gotta clean the dust off of it. Take this rig with me. Looks pretty good. Box of parts. I guess the can of grease is and not out here. This will be a quick thing beating the rain. Where's the can of grease? Come on. That already left it. Lovely gray cabinet.
Okay, no drips at the moment. Hopefully dad makes it back. He took the tractor to drop off some sweet corn. Well, I took the TC. He thought he could make it back before it started raining. Ooh, I need an ugly rag. Now I took the tractor because he picked directly into a little wagon. That little wagon is made from an old, I don't know, probably Chrysler or something. Like, I'm talking old, old front axle. And he doesn't like pulling it behind the truck. Because he says he can get going too fast and the wagon will bounce around. And we're not going that far. So it's pointless to rebag the sweet corn. But it's a, it's a delivery he makes every week. Actually, he's going to a local food pantry. Um, a bunch of people get together to buy the corn for the food pantry. And we're picking about 50 dozen for them a week. And they've got people to handle and move the corn. So it's not like we have to bag it or anything. Uh, now that should be behind the seal back there, so I don't have to have that super shiny. And you can see how much that ate that up. As long as I can get the seal on there decently. Of course, I keep feeling more raindrops. Okay, take a nicer rag. Do the last little polish. Yeah, that ate the spindle up a little bit. Having that, ooh, it's really bad on the bottom. Ugh. Probably where all the rollers were rubbing. Okay. The seal's in there, but I'm gonna need something to tap it on. Hammer, I think I left the punch out there. Oh, jeez. It's all greasy. Now the handle of the hammer will last forever now. It's all oil soaked. I'll do this the worst way possible. The worst part is you get this thing started crooked and it's very tough on it to get it going straight again. Okay, it's on. Oh, I don't like those sprinkles, though. Okay, we're gonna call it quits on this. Yep, there's more drops. Don't go anywhere, wheel. That's important. Don't want this getting wet. We need these things. The grease, the hub, and Dad's not back yet, so he's probably getting soaked. Well, I guess that's lunchtime, unfortunately. I forgot to do something rather important, so we're having this rain delay. We can work on it. I forgot to put the races in the hub. It would have been kind of difficult to go out there, try to put it together, and... Well, it wouldn't go so well, because there's no races inside the hub. Apparently, this hub is, like, the more abused one or something. I mean, obviously, because all this... But the s smaller race for the outside, um, I was able to push it halfway in by hand. And I gotta say, this is rather nice. Um, since there's not as much material here, it's easier to tap this larger race in. And is that all the way in? See, there's a groove worn in there. 
from when it went out. That's not supposed to be like that. Feels like we're hitting bottom. Pretty sure we're hitting bottom. You know, fingernail test. Don't feel a groove I can get my finger in, so that's good. And that one doesn't require any extra. I have to tap it back out. Put that in our expensive metal bucket. Now we're ready, but the question is, how much is it raining? It quit. Okay, it quit for a few seconds again. Now where'd my box of toys go? I'm gonna want that hammer. Hammer's out there. Sorry to make everybody dizzy. Couldn't decide whether I had enough of the proper tools outside. Big bearing, all greased up. We're even getting sun right now. Now this thing was a pain to get off. Hopefully we can get it to go on rather nicely. Yeah, I guess we'll kill this nice rig. things as clean as we can. Try to do this as gently as possible. Okay, now I feel like we're almost hitting. Sounds like we're hitting. Looks like we're hitting. Must be a duck. Okay, slather this thing in grease. Uh, which, I guess we'll uh, use my right hand. Greasy, greasy, grease. Who needs a grease gun video when you got the whole can in front of you? That was a big thing this spring. Everybody had to make their grease gun videos. And I say what grease gun? Yeah, I need to do something like this to the 28 soon. The wheel bearings are getting super loose. And we've never had to put wheel bearings in it. I forget if we tightened them or not. But given its history, how it was taken care of before the previous owners, the municipal use, I uh, don't think maintenance was a strong suit for them. Okay. Seeing as the, the tractor had all its issues. I'll put some grease on the race. Hey, that was a lot of... We got a lot of air. That's a cheap can of grease. You see that shiny thing? Heard a pop. That was all air down there. Jeez. Grease that surface. Put some more grease. All the way around. Put some extra grease. A little bit of grease for the road. And they say if it gets hot, it's supposed to get the grease to flow in. Well, if it's getting hot, you got, you're going to have more problems fast. It'll limp you down the road a few miles, but it's sure not going to get you past tomorrow. Grease this end a little bit. Okay. 
Moment of truth. Come on. Oh. Well, if we get over the seal, you can see it in there. But we're gonna have so much trouble getting string and crap in that spot. Ugh. We just keep it clean. There, that's our plan. Forever cleanliness. Time for the smaller bearing. Have some more grease. Why is there a dog hair? Yeah, it's Brad's hair. I don't think Brad's shedding. Greasy, greasy, greasy. Right on there. Throw some more grease in for good measure. Just so we have to clean it out the next time we change these. Just have a bunch of grease everywhere. I'm really gonna get a nasty rag. That t-shirt I'm trying to save. Since it's so white and clean. This thing's about useless. Sure. I'll use this jean rag and all this dirtiness. Jean rags don't always seem to be the most absorbent, but we wear out a lot of jeans around here. Like, I always tend to wear out pairs of jeans. I got so many where they got the nice thigh look, that in-style thing for all the all the teenagers. Gotta have their worn out jeans. They don't buy them worn out. I usually can wear holes in them after a few years, but that's from how I hold hay, and I'm always bucking hay with my right leg. Okay, we need to put this washer back on there. Come on. Ew. I think they got, we got crap in, that's probably metal shavings too. We're just gonna clean all this old grease off. Keep that from getting you know, any metal shavings or poop in the fresher grease. Fresh grease. You can see the wear mark. So this side was against the bearing and this side was against the nut. Oh, do we keep the wear points the same or turn it around? And my dirty nut. Dirty, dirty nuts. Ugh. Now I must say, one project I hope I never have to do. I mean, we do wheel bearings rather frequently. You got so many wheels and wagons, and the age of them, wheel bearings are are gonna happen. But never hope I have to do axle seals on any of these rear axles, because that seems like that could be a big project. You gotta take half the rear end apart, take the wheel off, and you have to take the axle casting off to get to the seal to pull the axle out. I don't think you can just tap a new seal in from the end. I mean that would be incredibly easy and nice. But I don't believe it to be so. Now we were ready for this whole project. Once it started raining, for Brad to hold an umbrella to quick finish this up. But lo and behold, we're having sun. Rather hot, sticky sun. Too bad there's not an eclipse today. That was yesterday to make it shady. Next one actually is in 2024. For our area, 
and there's a well, we should have much better darkness and coverage here at the farm because it'll be right at the edge of a 70 mile swath of totality so I could probably go a couple miles closer maybe over towards Dayton instead of Cincinnati to get a better view but that one will be in April so we might not be doing much it could still be rainy that's the only problem is that it'll be rainy days so we won't be able to see the sun but it still could get pitch black on us in the middle of the day. <sighs> Create a crease in the rag, run it through. If I do go on a cleaning spree, I want it to be clean, I can become a neat freak. There we go, clean-ish nut. We've got holes on top, like vertical and horizontal, so we've got two options. Hmm, I guess we'll put some grease behind it. Just for good measure. Come on. Come on, there we go. Now I just hit it finger tight yesterday. I don't think I've got that much finger strength. That's pretty tight. Now I also suspect that's because of the because of the seal on the back making that that tight. That was what was left of the inner race. I need a cotter pin to go through this. Feels tight in and out. Oh, we got a little more out of it. See if you work it in. We're gonna have to check these probably in a week or so. Just use the loader, lift it up, pop the hubcap, and try it. I'm sure the more we sit here and spin, watch our grease go by. That's a good sign. I wish these had grease fittings, but knowing how much poop we get into, that could be a bad idea, and we'll get poop juice going in the grease fitting. I mean, it's supposed to be sealed, but you'll rust away the grease zerk, and it'll be hard to get a grease gun on it. Best chance of getting that hole. I guess that's pretty tight. I gotta remember to do something. We watch that. There's a little bit of play there. Probably set it forward for toe in. Not that it matters so much. Tap it back down also since it's worked its way up. And get a grease gun. Try to get some grease in there. But like I said, it's poopy, so hope that's not an issue. Now on the 84 and all small international tractors, there were different axle options. We have what's called the heavy duty axle, which is obviously good for loader. They offered kind of a sway back design, like a lot of the little Fords have, to bring the front wheels closer to the back wheels, give you a really, 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 really tight turning radius, which is nice. The loader tractor, sometimes I wonder if I'm ever gonna make it around a turn. So I crank the steering wheel all the way to one side and just left wondering. 
and that could be a product of not having a sway back. But I feel like a sway back is a very bad idea for a loader. Then you're creating extra twist on your axle uh, bushings and pivot out front. And we have one of these long enough. And the right size, like that's super long, right diameter. You can cut it off. This one is a little bigger, maybe. Let's eyeball that. It's not bigger if it is, we we'll give that a whirl. Grab a set of greasy pliers. It's raining up there. Come on, rain, get us. That's why I'm working outside like this, trying to make it rain. I hear thunder. Our hole. I don't. How do you? Geez, you can't put too big of a pin in here. That begs the question. We turn it tighter. Can I get it in there? I know. I don't want to go too tight. I mean, there's probably a reason why this older one's bent from getting it in and out of there. Okay, there it is. Come on. Come on. So all I gotta do is go in there. This could be treacherous. Whoever gets to take this apart could thank me. Come on. That's tough. Yeah, the good old hammer pliers. Shoot. That's just making it crooked. However, I give myself a bend. Come on. You're halfway home. Sort of. I'll use that bend or advantage now. Come on, pushing the grease out. How can only one hole be big enough here? I'll get going in that side. Now what are you waiting for? I can see it pushing the grease out. Like it's right there. There. You're through. How did I get myself to bend? Ah, of course I left the long one. Just push the long one down. Bend this small guy at me. Find the cap. Oh man. Need to find a, a something. 
just scrape all this out. That is so nasty. You see like it's grainy almost. So there's something su something suspended in it. <sighs> Any more weeds I can pull up? Let's see, there's our fenders we're gonna put on the truck. Probably a good thing to do before winter and we're throwing salt juice around. Okay, now I can stick a rag in there. The yeah. This must have been really hard to get in at one point because it's all smashed in, but it came off really easy. That was about like the best part of this whole project. So I could easily get the caps off, just pry it with a screwdriver. There was proper leverage points and bevels and ridges to work with. Got all this nasty old grease out. Bunch of fresh grease. A little bit. Had to probably scrape that up the next time, so more grease wasted. But if it's there, it could do something useful. Oh, jeez, this is stupid poop. Don't worry, I think I got all the dirt out of the grease, or all the greasy dirt out. Yeah, it shouldn't, I'm, shouldn't have been that hard to go in, so I don't know why it's all mashed up. Okay, that's done. Guess I can go and put the tire back on. Still need to address that. I guess we'll scrape all the crap off. We'll fertilize the grass. This is what it's nice about when it's dry. You can see like all the rust dust from when the, the wheel hub was rubbing. Ew, there's just layers upon layers. Okay, we're done.